certain way. Mm. I have to treat my children a certain way. Interesting. My as as the leader of the home, my wife is obliged to conduct herself a certain way. Okay. That sounds a little simplistic for yeah. a lot of people who want to study religion and yeah. philosophies, yeah. but for me that gave me part of the foundation to study the Quran, mm. to study the actual philosophies okay. in there and the stories in there. That's interesting. And so so it, it, fit, it, it fit your fitrah, your innate disposition, uh, the oneness of God, yes. and also the structure is set up for the family unit. Which is very important because there's a whole attack on the family unit today. I, I come from a strong family background and one of the things that makes me sad about life in the West yeah. is how we treat our family. We put our yeah. children in daycare centers when we, we don't. We put our elderly people in old folks' homes. It's very sad, very um, sad. In, when they talk about the economy in the States and they talk about how bad it is, they say, oh, it's terrible. Some houses and some homes, three generations have to live there. In Islam, that's a blessing. Yeah. Your grandparents, your children, and yeah. you live there. Yeah. And, and that's one of the things that, that had uh, attracted me to Islam is, is the beauty of the family and how we act towards each other. Mm. How a Muslim acts towards a non-Muslim, how a Muslim acts towards another. A lot Spanish. of his behavior, and I think that it's very important because the Prophet peace be upon him said, "I came only to perfect good character." Yes, and this is because a lot of people come and say, "Why do I need religion to be a good person?" Mm -hmm. When you look at society today, the Prophet peace be upon him said, "A day will come, the must the 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 slave will give birth to its master." Yeah. So we look at children today and how they are disobedient to their to their parents. Yeah, this is a no-no-go area because Allah says in the Quran, after He tells you to worship, after I tell you to worship me, don't even say uff to your parents. And then we have a look at, for example, the care homes. I mean, look at your mom and dad bringing you to this age and you cannot be asked to deal with them and you put them in a care home. The, and there's many elements to it as well. You know, the whole structure, the hierarchy of, you know, the family unit, you know, etc. You know, these things are in place and it's natural. These are natural things. And we alluded with unnatural things. And this is the chaos we have today with all kinds of matters that I can't really, really go into. So you found that for yourself. Anything else you found beautiful in this time? Maybe your connection with Allah, with God Almighty? I, yeah, absolutely. The, the connection with God is that, that, that Islam means submission to God. Yeah. And I want to submit to God. I want to be, as I submit to God, it helps me be the best person that I can be. If I follow Allah, and I, I take his teachings to heart, yeah. then it helps me be a better person towards you. And mm. I'm a strong person. Yeah. If I do the right thing, it helps the world. And it helps bring peace. Did you, did you not find that in Christianity? What was in Christianity that you thought, you know what? This is not answering my question. The Trinity. Um, and this is a common thing you see with every river Christianity. My friend here, Dawood, he's been a Christian. Uh, he was a Christian before. He's a Muslim for 15 years. What what was it that with the Trinity that it was like okay this is not adding up? Well, how could Jesus be God and God be Jesus? How could Jesus be in the Garden of Gethsemane and bow down and bow God? down to God? Yeah. And how could Jesus be on the cross and say, yeah. Lord, you have forsaken me? Yeah. I don't have a disagreement with Christians. I don't yeah. have a disagreement with with how they conduct themselves and what they believe yeah. in that the, the, the Ten Commandments yeah. and that you should be kind to each other. Yeah. But the philosophy and the structure of that is something that I don't agree with. Mm. I, I, I work on, my, I do my best to be a smart intellectual person, yeah. but the thing that draws me to Islam is the simplicity of it. Yeah. It's, it's not complicated. You yeah. love God, you follow the Prophet, peace be upon him, yeah. and you yeah. treat each other well. Yeah. You don't Sin. Exactly. You, you mentioned that, that that people say, "How can you be a good person, or how, why do you need religion mm. to be a good person?" Yeah. But a beautiful house needs to have a friend. Yeah. And to me, religion and Islam is that friend. Spot on. Amazing. Patrick, what advice would you give to people watching? Maybe they're on the very close accepting Islam. You know, maybe a Christian. Well, what advice would you give them? Listen and study. 
listen to people who know what they're talking about mm. and be open-minded. That's good. That's, it. That's good. Yeah. And yeah, thank you, Patrick. Any Thanks other last so words? No last words. Thank you. It's a pleasure to have you here. Thank you so uh, and much. we would like to see you more in the park, hopefully. You'll see me more here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's good. You're a friend. Right. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you very much. I'll right. take the mic. Cheers. Thank you very much, Patrick. Right. Uh, thank you guys. So yes, we heard uh, Patrick and his story. Very interesting and all people of all walks of life, you know, he was chilling with people who are veterans, you know, who hated Islam. Uh, maybe they were misinformed. And for him to come to Islam, it's a beautiful story. And we wanted to share this with you. Assalamu alaikum. Carry on supporting our works, inshallah, brothers and sisters. Till next time, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I'm not going to